Hello everyone, this is Paul from SpanishWithPaul.com and welcome to this Monday's lesson. You know, in English, we'll often use the phrase, it makes me. For example, it makes me happy, it makes me sad, scared, it makes me mad, it makes me laugh, it makes me hungry, and of course there are many others. Now, Spanish does this too, but it does it with a twist. It does it a little bit differently. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to do it correctly in Spanish and give you plenty of examples so that it becomes something you can add into your own spoken Spanish right away. That's all coming up next. If becoming fluent in conversational Spanish is one of your goals for this year, then consider clicking the link above to download my free course books that go along with all of my YouTube lessons. You can also subscribe to my channel to get a brand new Spanish lesson from me every single Monday. So with that out of the way, let's get started. The expression it makes me does have an exact translation in Spanish, which would be me hace. This is coming from the verb hacer. So let's put it in here. We have hacer, which is to do or to make hacer. Now, if we get rid of the R, we're left with the sound of hace, which means it makes. And if we put the pronoun of me up front, this means now to me it makes, me hace. And this is the equivalent in Spanish for it makes me in English, me hace. The problem is that this only works for some expressions, not all. Let's run through some examples. The word for happy in Spanish is feliz. So to express, it makes me happy, would become, me hace feliz. To me, it makes happy, me hace feliz. Do you remember the verb, to see? Ver. And how would you say, to see you? Verte. Now say, it makes me happy to see you. Me hace feliz verte. What's the word for here? Aquí. Now try, it makes me happy to see you here. Me hace feliz verte aquí. What's the word for again? Otra vez. How would you say, it makes me happy to see you here again. Me hace feliz verte aquí otra vez. How would you say to be here? Estar aquí. Now say, it makes me happy to be here. Me hace feliz estar aquí. It makes me happy to be here again. Me hace feliz estar aquí otra vez. The word for joy in Spanish is alegría. We have a le gría. Alegría. In English, if you said it makes me joy, it would immediately sound wrong. The same is true in Spanish. You wouldn't say, me hace alegría. Instead, in English, we would say, it gives me joy. And this is also what you do in Spanish. The phrase, it gives me, does have an exact translation in Spanish as well. It would be, me da. Let's go to the verb. We get rid of the pronoun, and we put in an R, so the verb is dar. This means to give. Getting rid of the R, we're left with the sound of da, which means it gives. And if we throw the pronoun up front, me da literally means to me it gives. And this is how you will express it gives me in Spanish. Me da. Now we come to the phrase it gives me joy. How would you say that? Me da alegría. Well, this phrase may sound a little old-fashioned in English. It does not sound old-fashioned 
in Spanish. It's used all the time. So let's practice. How would you say, it gives me joy to be here? Me da alegría estar aquí. How do you say, with you? Contigo. Now say, it gives me joy to be here with you again. Me da alegría estar aquí contigo otra vez. You can also power up the meaning of this phrase with the use of a lot of. It gives me much joy or it gives me a lot of joy. This in Spanish would be Me da mucha alegría. We say mucha and not mucho because we're referring to the noun la alegría, a feminine noun which means the joy. So this is why we have mucha alegría so that the two match. How would you say, it gives me a lot of joy to be here and to see you again? Me da mucha alegría estar aquí y verte otra vez. What's the verb to speak? Hablar. And how would you say to speak Spanish? Hablar español. Now say this. It gives me a lot of joy to speak Spanish with you. Me da mucha alegría hablar español contigo. So far, we've looked at me hace for it makes me and me da for it gives me. And we've seen how there are some expressions that match up very, very well between English and Spanish. Both languages behave in the same way. The problem is that while English will continue to use it makes me for many other expressions, Spanish will continue to use it gives me. And this is the twist that we need to be aware of, the twist that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. For example, it makes me scared. The word for fear in Spanish is miedo. Miedo. So whereas in English we'll say it makes me scared, Spanish will say it gives me fear. Try to say that. It becomes me da miedo. To me, it gives fear. Me da miedo. Now, let's suppose we have someone who is afraid of driving alone at night. The verb to drive is manejar. It looks like a man in a jar. Manejar. Just three syllables. Man, e, har. How would you say, it makes me scared to drive? Me da miedo manejar. The word for alone can be either solo or sola. Solo if you are a male and sola if you are a female. How would you say, it makes me scared to drive alone? Me da miedo manejar solo or sola. To say at night would literally be in the night, en la noche. Now, how would you say this sentence as a male? It makes me scared to drive alone at night. Me da miedo manejar solo en la noche. Let's repeat that same sentence, but this time as a female talking. Me da miedo manejar sola en la noche. We can increase the power of this statement by saying, it terrorizes me. 
Now, in Spanish, they will say it gives me terror, which is me da terror. If you can, try to roll your R's in the middle here. Terror. Me da terror. This means it really scares me to death. Let's try to build another sentence. It terrorizes me or it scares me to death to speak in public. First of all, what's the verb to speak? Hablar. And to express in public, you will say en público. Notice that the accent is here over the u, público. If you put it here and said in público, you would not be understood. You would get that blank look of I have no idea of what you just said. So it's very important that your push, your accent comes here, en público. How would you say it terrorizes me to speak in public? Me da terror hablar en público. Literally, to me, it gives terror, meaning I'm scared to death to speak in public. Let's build into another sentence. It scares me to death to speak Spanish in front of native speakers. First of all, how would you say it scares me to death to speak Spanish? Me da terror hablar español. The phrase in front of in Spanish is enfrente de, literally in front of. Enfrente de. And the word for native speakers would be hablantes nativos. If you look closely, you can see the remnants of the verb hablar to speak here. Get rid of this. We have hablar to speak, but speakers goes to hablantes. And then we have the word native here, nativos, in plural, hablantes nativos. Native speakers. How would you say in front of native speakers? Enfrente de hablantes nativos. Now let's put it together. It scares me to death to speak Spanish in front of native speakers. Me da terror hablar español en frente de Hablantes nativos. The word for courage in Spanish is coraje. So we have cor a -je, coraje. Now something peculiar happens when you put it into the phrase me da coraje. On the surface, it looks like it gives me courage. In this phrase, what it actually means in Spanish is, it makes me mad. Me da coraje. Let's build into a sentence. What about, it makes me mad when I have to wait for a long time? First of all, what's the word for when? Cuando. And how do you say, I have to? Tengo que. Now say, when I have to. Cuando tengo que. What's the verb to wait? Esperar. How would you say when I have to wait? Cuando tengo que esperar. Now try, it makes me mad when I have to wait. Me da coraje cuando tengo que esperar. The expression for a long time would be por mucho tiempo, for a lot of time, por mucho tiempo. How would you say, it makes me mad when I have to wait for a long time? Me da coraje cuando... Tengo que esperar por mucho tiempo. Something else that might make you mad is when people are rude. 
In Spanish, they would say, it makes me mad when the people are rude. They would throw in the definite article here. Now, this expression, the people are rude, in Spanish would be, la gente es grosera. This is interesting because in English, as soon as we say the people, we immediately think plural, and we would say the people are rude. Yet here in Spanish, they're using es, which means it is. Literally, the people is rude. The reason for this is that la gente in Spanish is a singular noun. It's not las gentes. It's la gente, singular. And this is why we get es instead of son. So es grosera, la gente es grosera. Spanish is very particular about that and paying attention to whether nouns are singular or plural as they're written or said. So how would you say that now? It makes me mad when people are rude. Me da coraje cuando la gente es grosera. What about this one? It makes me mad when people are rude and I have to wait for a long time. Me da coraje cuando la gente es grosera y tengo que esperar por mucho tiempo. Another expression we use in English is it makes me laugh. However, in Spanish, this would be it gives me laugh. Again, you can see the twist that we need to be aware of. First of all, the word for laugh in Spanish is risa. Risa. So to express it makes me laugh would become me da risa. Literally, to me, it gives laugh. Me da risa. How do you say every day? Todos los días. Literally, all the days. If you said cada día, that's fine as well. But the literal translation would be todos los días. How would you say it makes me laugh every day. Me da risa todos los días. Let's try building into a sentence. It makes me laugh to think of all the mistakes I make in Spanish. First of all, what's the verb to think? Pensar. Now, to express to think of, in Spanish, what they do is say to think in, which becomes pensar en. So how would you say that much? It makes me laugh to think of. Me da risa pensar en. The word for mistake. In Spanish, what they do is use the word error. And this is spelt exactly the same in Spanish. It's only the pronunciation that changes. So we get error. This is another double R where you should try to roll your tongue. Error. The plural of that mistakes would become errores. Errores. To say all the mistakes will become todos los errores. Just like todos los días. But here we have errores at the end. All the mistakes. Now let's try to put all that together. How would you say, it makes me laugh to think of all the mistakes? Me da risa pensar en todos los errores. The word for I make is hago, hago. The H is silent, so your pronunciation starts from here. Hago. How would you say that I make? Que hago. Now try. It makes me laugh to think of all the mistakes that I make. Me da risa pensar en todos los errores que hago. How do you say in Spanish? En español. 
Now let's try the full sentence. It makes me laugh to think of all the mistakes that I make in Spanish. Me da risa pensar en todos los errores que hago en español. Do you remember how to say every day? Todos los días. Let's use that. It makes me laugh to think of all the mistakes that I make every day in Spanish. And look, there I made a mistake already. So how would you say that? Me da risa. Pensar en todos los errores que hago todos los días en español. You could also strengthen this and say, it really makes me laugh. This becomes, me da mucha risa. Mucha because we want it to match with risa. So, mucha risa really makes me laugh. Let's throw that in. It really makes me laugh to think of all the mistakes that I make every day in Spanish. Me da mucha risa pensar en todos los errores que hago todos los días en español. If you're serious about learning Spanish and want to become conversationally fluent, my main course, Spanish with Paul, is live and available for you now. Inside you'll get my complete course, none of which is available on YouTube, and also my personal attention to make sure you achieve conversational fluency in the fastest time possible. In short, if you like my free lessons on YouTube and the results they're giving you, then you'll love what I have for you inside the main course. You can click the link on the screen now to find out all the details. So with that said, I look forward to seeing you again in my next video.